the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Then said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of every kind of clean animal, a male and its mate, and one pair of every kind of unclean animal, a male and its mate, and also seven pairs of every kind of bird male and female, to keep their various kinds alive throughout the year. Seven days from now, you will send rain on the year for 40 days, 40 nights. And I will move from the face of the earth for three days. And Noah did all that the Lord commanded him. Noah was 600 years old when the flood waters came on the earth. Noah and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives entered the ark to escape the waters of the flood. Pairs of clean and unclean animals, of birds, and of all creatures that move along the ground, male and female, came to Noah and entered the ark, as God had commanded Noah. And after the seven days, the flood waters came on the earth. In the 600th year of Noah's life, on the seventeenth day of the second month, on that day all the springs of the great deep burst forth, and the floodgates of the heavens were opened, and rain fell on the earth forty days and forty nights. On that very day, Noah and his sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, together with his wife and the wives of his three sons, entered the ark. They had with them every wild animal according to its kind all livestock according to their kinds, every creature that moves along the ground according to its kind, and every bird according to its kind, everything with wings, pairs of all creatures that have the breath of life in them came to Noah and entered the ark. The animals going in were male and female, of every living thing, as God had commanded Noah. Then the Lord shut him in. For forty days the flood kept coming on the earth, and as the waters increased, they lifted the ark high above the earth. The waters rose and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the surface of the water. They rose greatly on the earth, and all the high mountains under the entire heavens were covered. The waters rose and covered the mountains to a depth of more than fifteen cubits. Every living thing that moved on the earth perished. Birds, livestock, wild animals, all the creatures that swarm over the earth, and the entire human race. Everything on dry land that had the breath of life in its nostrils died. Every living thing on the face of the earth was wiped out. Human beings and animals and the creatures that move along the ground and the birds were wiped from the earth. Only Noah was left, and those with him in the ark. The waters flooded the earth for a hundred and fifty days. Hey, but I'm excited. I got a new project I want to try out. It's for encouragement, for growth, and edification for all of us. Those who are professionals have to be Christians. It's to let's read the entire Bible. One chapter at a time for New Testament. One chapter at a time for the Old Testament. Use the New Testament in the morning and at uh, night time use the Old Testament. And incorporate that as part of your prayer. Meaning it just becomes a routine thing with your prayer life. So what I'm going to do is by being an example is actually go ahead and do that as well. Use it on YouTube. I recommend you do um, subscribe so you can be notified when the chapter that you need to read comes up and you can go and keep up with it. Subscribe to the channel. You go to the channel and catch up with the ones that you may have missed. But let's just get it one day at a time, you know. And what I like to do is I'm excited. I think it's love it because 
we really do need to read the Bible for ourselves. Everybody that. And I encourage many of you to do that. The reason I'm doing this is because, like I say, it's the title, How to Read the Entire Bible, Read It One Day at a Time with Your Morning and Prayer. And use an audio book to help you read and pronounce some of those words. Especially when you get into the Old Testament, I'm telling you something else. But also look at this right here. I put down the survey that was done. It was called How Much, it's called Life Way Research Did It. How Much of Bible Have You Personally Read? And you can see 10% none, 13% only a few sentences, 30% several passages or stories, 50% at least half of it, 12% almost all of it, 11% uh, all of it, and 9% all of it more than once. And the reason I don't want you just to read the Bible, I want you to give it, meditate on it, and get that in your heart and your spirit and get revelation that God gives you. So that's why the intent is for you to read these scriptures because you guarantee you, you will grow in the things of God. And then you'll have to depend on other people to tell you something. And then when you go to church there, when the man said, Let's turn to such and such chapter. You can sit there and say, I did that. I read that chapter. And, and then you can get some more comments on that so that you start to understand what the man is trying to teach. But you keep it in content of those scriptures as they come in. Amen? Hey, I, I think you'll love it. I think I know you'll love it. I know you'll enjoy it because we got to change that stat that we just read. All right, so get ready. Go to the chapter that's up for today. And don't forget to subscribe, and I guarantee you, we have be able to knock out the New Testament, uh, I think in about seven months. Listen, it's worth it so you can get to know your Bible and know who you are. Because what the scripture says who you are is more important than what people say that you are. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you. I'll see you. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.